Hello ladies and gentlemen, Board Game Hero is back with another unboxing video. This time we have Tapestry, a civilization game by Jamie Stegmeier, published by Stonemeyer Games. Art by Andrew Bosley and Sculpts by Rom Brown. So I got here, I ordered this one as a champion, champion pre-order. So that's why we have this first printing number here, 06. 06719 it doesn't mean anything but uh it feels good to have uh somehow a little unique uh box or unique copy just for ourselves all right so we have cover art here it's really really nice cover art as you can see the tiles on the uh on the road here are hex tiles we have simple huts here and then over at the top we have some balloons and some high-tech uh, floating materials or floating uh, objects there so uh, let's go ahead and see the four sides of the box so we have here green scenery and this is how you what you will see when you just place it vertically you have a simple tapestry logo here and then on the other side this is for horizontal um this is more of a desert area and again you see someone uh, a person holding a tapestry then um just a simple tapestry logo with, the, with leaves of the tree here and then the box the back of the box you have the whole overview of the components here of the game and then list of components some introduction and then we have 18 unique painted landmark miniatures so these miniatures we'll take a look at that later but those sculpts are by Ron Brown so let's go ahead unbox this and see what's inside all right first we have our four page rule book made in the same material as the one in wingspan so it's i don't know how to describe it but it's not normal paper it's some high quality poster paper so it's just really really simple four pages and i think um jamie is really proud of this achievement then we have the reference guides and a lot of information uh, is here so for new players I think this will be really helpful to understand what's uh, on the board then we have the Automa rules this is mainly for solo play made with the same material as the one in wingspan and the uh, the main rule book then we have shadow empire variant uh, in two players you can add this uh, uh, like a third player but it's it's not an automa but it's more of a like a like an ai or something it just adds to your game and then let's take a dive uh with the components so first i want to look at these civilization cards so these are your civilization this is where uh this is like your player character but this time you are choosing your civilization and again sorry i would i have to mention this the quality, it's rough. Uh, I'm not sure what to call this one, but it's really, really good quality uh, material. You don't need to sleeve this one, I think. Uh, anyway, let's look. First, we have Alchemist, Futurist. I like the art of this one. Smooth, cartoonish style. Uh, we have Isolationist, Mystics, Architects. Heralds, Leaders, Nomads, Craftsmen, Historians, Merrymakers, the, everyone's favorite, The Chosen, Entertainers, Inventors, Militants, and Traders. Alright, so those are all our 16 Civilization. Uh, during the game, well you will start with one. Uh, but uh, during the course of the game, uh, there are some times that you will get another one to add to your uh, uh, civilization. Your starting civilization. 
Um, okay, let's jump into these dice. Let's open it real quickly. We have three dice here. Um, during the pre-order phase, you, uh, the buyers or the, the champions or anyone, uh, are able to order how many uh, extra dice. I don't know what the purpose of that is, but yeah, I think I'm fine with, this, with just three dice. For this one, we have the science die. And then we have the conquer die. Conquer dice, so two of them. Um, this is a D12. These are D6s. So on the black die, we have a star, a question mark. Um, looks like a person. Uh, Baymax. We have a mushroom. And a sack. And yeah, like that. I don't know what they are called. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So these are. This is. I know. Uh, I know. This is points. So it's six points, seven points, four points, five. Or gain the benefit on the tile. Oh uh, yeah, on the tile. This is a science die. You get gears, swords. What is this? A compass or a tracker? Uh, or a gauge, a sword. Yeah. Or this one. Uh, I forgot the name. It's flask. So yeah. So those are our tapestry dice. Well, before we move on to, the, to those uh, other components, let's look at these cards. Okay, so first we have, I think these are technology or invention cards. This is what you will uh, invent during uh, the game. So let's take a look at them. Not all of them, just some of them. So because I don't want to see it before I play it, I want it to be a surprise. Uh, I want it to be a surprise. So I'm just going to quickly run through it so we have this one we have this and this and this then we have some of these cards that i cannot explain to you right now but i can say that the quality of the cards are, are it's really really good this is made of high quality materials so you don't have to worry about um uh, about sleeving it because it's it's gonna last long so i think these are some references yeah so anyway those are our cards let's take a look at another set of cards and i believe these are tapestry cards so these are your tapestry cards um actually to be honest with you i didn't really expect it to be just a normal uh, standard poker size cards uh, from the pictures, I thought it's going to be a tarot size card or some uh, bigger card. Anyway, I have a standard size card here. And again, I'm not going to look at all of them. I'm just going to look at some of them, show it to you because I want it to be a surprise during the game. So we have this, we have that, and this, and that, and yeah, some of that. Perfect. So those are your tapestry cards. Then lastly, we have some level one whatever here. I think again this is another uh, reference cards for each player. So yeah, we have that. That's really really useful. Then with that done, we can look at some of the rest of the components. So first, let's take a look at. The capital cities so we have the mountain wetland tropical forest desert grassland so again same quality material that was used with the other components um, uh, this capital tile it's like a sudoku board okay so we have nine nine sets of three by three tiles all right and this is where you put your buildings your landmarks your um houses workshops and anything um, you gain points by completing row and columns and stuff like that so pretty much like a sudoku and barren park uh feast for odin and stuff like that so you'll be familiar with that when you play that and your inventions will go here start at the bottom go up here and then up here this is the the last part um it will progress 
right so that those are our capital cities this is where our this is the tracker I uh, have techno technology this is where you put your landmarks so when you gain those benefits and when you gain those landmark you will take it from here um, it will be placed uh, in this in this style so at the back it's it's just white which is some uh, um, a little disappointing um, next we have the player board so this is where you play your tapestry each player will get this we have five of these so it's up to five players and each player will put their outposts here or the houses here they will cover these values and once they uh, reveal that or it's visible you gain those benefits so as a player you will start by the maker of fire tapestry and then you can uh, add up to three tapestry into your uh, civilization into your story you gain benefits depending on the cards that you play so these are this is the player board income turn uh, reference here uh, what I can say is this the number here is a little bit small so some people of old age or problem with eyesight will have a problem with that then these are our really cute tiles that you can place on the board so let's see this one first again I li really like the art really nice then we have the space tile here yeah so this is for when you explore the space um, let's take a look at one of them one of each like take a look at the quality it's just like your normal tile but yeah I think it works so yeah those are our tiles we have three punch boards for that so you have a uh, not a lot but I think that's a, just the right amount of tiles. Well, maybe in the expansion, the future, we'll have more tiles. This is the board. We'll take a look at that later. Because this requires a lot, uh, big space. Okay. The main beef of the game. This is what made Jamie do the Civilization game. Because of Ron Brown's sculpt, clay sculpts. So, let me take care of this one. Remove this cover so everything is set the lids has been removed let's take a look at these miniatures all right it reminds me of claymation uh, animation uh, from my age it's really cute really really cute nice um yeah let's take a look at at them one by one I really like the direction Jamie took for these um, miniatures. You know, as you can you can argue that Jamie could have just used um, just tokens for these buildings, but no. Um, according to Jamie, he couldn't do that because this is the main reason why he pushed through with the idea of uh, making a civilization game upon seeing Ron Brown's sculpts. This is a, a lighthouse. So yeah, you cannot, uh, I mean, if he do that, if he did that, he, um, he will just step, one step away from his um, vision of tapestry. I myself wouldn't mind an extra, you know, added price uh, on the game because of this. But some people would be wary and even back out from this because of that the pricing so yeah so as you as you advance through the ages you'll gain more advanced buildings like this one i don't even know what this is but it looks like an energy uh building this is like a radio tower this is a silo spaceship yeah we have some modern buildings here So yeah, so as you as you advance through the age, you'll get more advanced buildings. So those are our land. Next, let's take a look at the outpost that you will be placing on the board. Each player will get their own color. We have green, white, yellow, blue, and red. Let's take a look at the blue ones so you can examine the quality 
of the material that was used. So let's open this one. It's not a zip bag, so we have to break it. But zip bags have uh, has been provided with the game. So we have cubes that you can use for the trackers. You will be using for the trackers. And these are your outposts that you will be placing on the board to mark your territory. All right. Uh, the quality is good. It's made of plastic. Not uh, the heavy material type. Just light plastic. Then we have... I think these are resources. So we have stars again. Same with sight. But these are made of plastic, not wood. Let's open one. Okay, so I hope we get one of each. Yeah, I think we did. So we have this is like a mushroom or uh, a bread. We have a sack of gold or a grain. This one I really don't know, but maybe it's upside down or like that. But it, this looks like Baymax to me. Then we have a star. So those are our, I think these are resources. Not much. Um, lastly, we have houses. We have wooden houses. We have houses made of wheat or sticks or bay, hay. Uh, we have made of stone and made of bricks. So let's take, let's open this one and take a look at one of each. Okay, so we have one of each of these houses. We have one made of twigs, one made of stone, one made of wood, and one made of bricks. So this reminded me of Green Forest. In Green Forest, you have three kinds of huts or houses that you have to build. And these are those three. In this game, we have one additional. This is a stone. So yeah, those are our houses. I think each player will get those houses and will be placed on their player board lastly let's take a look at our map all right so this is our board this this board is double sided this is for four plus players the other side is for uh one two three i think anyway for smaller number uh player counts uh the side of the boards we have the trackers here we have the exploration tracker science tracker military and technology so those are our trackers, you have your cubes start here and it moves forward and forward until you reach the uh, the fourth uh, tier here. Uh, so you can see the board, it's made up of like pre-built tiles. And then as you, uh, as you progress, as you explore around, these gray tiles, these, these gray spaces will be filled with your own uh, exploration tiles. So this is like a fog of war in civilization video game. Uh, as you can see black, you can see nothing unless you explore that area. Alright, so that's similar to that. Let's, let's take uh, one tile and place it on the board. Okay, so we have this one tile that we got before earlier. So you just place it like that. I think there are placement rules that I haven't read yet. But that's how you just you just place it like that on the board where, where you explore. I think it must be adjacent to your space. Um, yeah, so as you can see on the board, you have places for players here. Four, three, five, six. So that's where players start depending on how what they drew, what number they drew, I think. Uh, so yeah, let's talk about the quality of the board. This quality of the board, if you're expecting sight quality, it's not that. It's much uh, way lesser than that this is very thin cardboard that i think will not last long because right now as you can see there's already marks on the board i don't think if it's visible in the camera but the the lines here is very visible with the with the naked eye <laughs> very visible with the eye okay so yeah i think this board will not last that's just the most disappointing quality of the board of the game is that the board uh, is like a prototype board. The quality though, not the art. The art is really good. It's just the quality. So yeah, this is our board. Let's take a look at the other side and let's wrap it up. 
So this is the other side of the board for one to three players. It's much smaller. Um, yeah, so it's balanced. For one to three players, you have one smaller map. So I think it will promote more um, interaction between the players, between civilizations. So, and that's the unboxing of Tapestry, a civilization game by Jamie Stagmeyer from Stonemeyer Games. This is the Board Game Hero. Thanks for watching. See you again next time.